The energy of October is already coming through and I've asked the angels for some guidance for all of us. Hi, I'm Devin Dewar. I'm an angel intuitive and spiritual teacher with some angel messages for you. When I connect with the angels, I always ask for these messages to reach you when it's in your highest interest. So whether you're hearing these messages right on the day that I'm recording them, or at some point in the future, there may be some guidance for you. I always say a prayer of protection, asking that I only connect with God's highest vibrational beings and the messages be for the highest good of those who come across. Angels will not tell you what to do. They never want us to give our power away. So because this is a group message, if something does not resonate with you, just leave it behind. It may be for someone else. However, if something does resonate with you, I encourage you to write it down. I find hindsight is often the most powerful tool for building trust in your connection with the angels. You may wanna go check out some previous angel messages I have posted and see how they might help align with what goes on for you at the t what's going on for you at the time. You can check your calendar, your phone, and see how they were aligning or they just might have some more current messages for you. And since we're talking about writing things down, I'm very excited to announce that it is the three year anniversary of Coffee with Devin. When we first started, we were meeting in a cafe in San Antonio, Texas as a group, discussing intuitive experiences. When certain events changed in 2020, we went online and we just grew from there. We have people from all over the United States and the world connecting on here and it's so much fun. If you haven't joined us yet and you love angels, we're your tribe. Because it is a three year anniversary, I am doing a giveaway. I did a giveaway for my two year anniversary and I'm doing something different this year. I'm giving away a copy of my new custom journal Book of Evidence, Proof Your Angels Are With You. This journal teaches you how to track your intuition and interpret signs that you're getting from your angels. It's got custom pages in it with gold foil, a ribbon, all kinds of beautiful things, and a special intuition tracker that I created to help you easily go back and use hindsight to see all the messages you're getting all the time. Plus this fun elastic, you can check out more features on my website at devindoer.com, but go over to Instagram because the giveaway starts on August 1st and ends, I believe the 10th. And then I will announce the winner at the three year anniversary of online coffee with Devin, which you're more than welcome to join us for. Just make sure you're signed up for my free newsletter at devindoer.com so you can get the Zoom link. We get together the second Wednesday of every month. I share some angel messages for the group at the beginning. You can go back and listen to past recordings right here on my YouTube channel. And I answer your questions. We do a round table discussion and it's a really, really fun way to connect with other people on your track. So if you are looking for your tribe, join us at Online Coffee and don't forget to go over to my Instagram account, which is at devin.doer. I'll link it below and sign up for the giveaway. Maybe you'll get your own custom journal. There are rules that apply. Uh, so just go check that out and see everything in there. And I would love to uh, see who else we can bring into our tribe with this giveaway. I'm excited about it. I'm just so honored that we're on three years of this amazing group of people. Everybody there brings something special. Whether you're a total beginner to your spiritual journey or learning about angels, or you've been doing it your entire life, you are welcome. We welcome all light workers to share the work that they do if you do this kind of work. So I hope you'll join us there. Let's get started with the angel messages. Okay, so the very first guidance coming through from the angels, they were talking about how they know Right now, we are looking for happy times. It's been a challenging year, right? If you watched my update at the beginning of the year, I've been doing some updates, I mean. I did angel messages for 2022. A lot of that energy that's come through has been challenging and we've been working and following the angel's guidance and they know that we're ready to shine. They know we're ready for happy times and they're asking us to take a look at where we can make some plans. We're wanting to make some long-term plans and we wanna know we're on the right path. So the angels are asking us to do that and they see that this is something that we want. So they want us to know that one of the big things that's gonna be a challenge for us and they know that this is, we are aware this is a challenge, is that we're having a hard time making decisions. We're feeling this stalemate energy around us right now and it's because we need to make a decision or we're pretending there's not a problem. Maybe we're turning a blind eye to something that needs to be released from our life. 
So take a look at what projects you're trying to get done. We are just about to be out of this Mercury retrograde at the time that I am shooting this video. And I want you to know that that's a great time for review, for reorganizing and releasing. So we may have seen some projects that we're gonna go ahead and let go of, we're not gonna be working on. We've maybe seen some relationships suddenly and unexpectedly end in our life, but just know that this is all part of the energy moving you forward. And it could be that you have decided that an, a relationship needs to end or it needs to have a different approach and you're not really willing to admit it. You've just been kind of glossing over it. So think about that. Is there anything that you've really felt like, you know, I need to make a decision about this, but I don't really want to look at how to do it. I don't really want to make that decision to tell my boss I'm looking for another job or I need a raise or I'm going to look for another job. Make that decision with your partner that we need to change things and maybe go to counseling or something has to change, or maybe it's making the decision to go ahead and get back out there in the dating circle. Maybe, maybe you haven't been doing that. So know that while you're looking for happier times, you wanna get out there and shine. These are the things that are holding you back. Another thing that might be unknown to you with this kind of energy is that, you know, we're needing to do a little self-discovery. We're needing to dig into some spiritual teachings and spend some time in quiet meditation before we're really gonna have that energy behind us to make that decision. So even if you don't know what it is that you're sitting on the fence with, or you don't know how to approach it, maybe you know what the answer is. You know, I'm leaving this situation or I want this situation. You just don't know how to do it. They're asking us to take a lot more time to go within, go into meditation and look for answers in the quiet, not looking outside of ourselves, but looking within and going into meditation. That's why I always encourage you to grab your journal and do some automatic writing, ask for what you want, keep track of the signs you're getting. If you haven't signed up for my free five day journaling challenge, you can just do that on my website. You'll get a free PDF that's gonna teach you how to connect with the angels. You're gonna get an angel message every day. You're gonna get a little portion of this book that's a PDF printout, or you can actually edit it um, on your computer if you don't have a printer. And you can practice for five days tracking the angel messages you're getting, and that might actually help you with this decision. So maybe if you haven't done that journaling challenge, go check it out. And know that one of the things that we haven't really accepted is that it is time to change our life. There are opportunities coming our way, especially in business. I'm getting for a lot of us, we are getting some opportunities for career advancement, but this could also mean relationships. So whatever comes to mind first, that's what I always say, whatever comes to mind first, when you hear exciting new opportunities are coming your way, what's the first thing that comes to mind for you? Because this is about you changing your life now making the decision that's in your highest interest is gonna be what you need to do to really get this transformation that they're asking us to make. They do realize that in the past, we have started to feel a little restless with some things. Maybe there's been some sudden events that have needed our attention. I know for me, I felt like most of September was putting out fires, different issues going on with work, with children, with family events, it was just, running from one thing to the next. And it was a lot of energy of just having to put one foot in front of the other and recognize that I'll get to the things I need to get to when I can. And, you know, just having to maybe drop what I'm doing to go help with something. It was a lot of that and they recognize that, but that's also been, you know, what has been preparing us for what's coming up for us. So they recognize that time was of the essence and they recognize that we saw that they wanna applaud us for the way that we stopped what we were doing and went where we were needed, where we were called. So congratulations for listening to your intuition when you were being called in for your family, called in for your work. You're doing a great job with that and they want you to know that you are even starting to see the way things are looking up and we are coming to the end of a difficult situation. They're saying some of y'all uh, recently took a trip or you're getting ready to take a trip here in October that's gonna bring some really good things and they're applauding you for taking the courage to take that step and get out there. You know, I love the way taking a trip somewhere can give you a new perspective. When we're doing something every day, it's like when you have your children 
and um, your aunt comes to visit from out of town and she says, oh my goodness, they look like they've grown a foot since I saw them last month. And you go, whoa, they have? Because you're in there every day. You don't have the perspective that your aunt does. And that's the thing that they're, that we need to get from these trips we're taking. Uh, I believe that was some of the guidance from the one I did at the beginning of September was about taking a trip, maybe a spiritual trip to get a new perspective. And that's something that they want us to know is that right now, the energy is about not giving up. This is all about perseverance here in October. Now, not in a scary way, like it's gonna be hard, but we are being asked to stick to what we're doing, stick to the plan. I do another show called Angels Aligning for an amazing network called Serious Joy, created by Sensei Christopher Wateki. He's an astrologer and psychic. He has amazing teachings on this platform, and I'm very honored to offer a weekly show with angel messages there. And these angel messages align with his special step system. If you're interested in hearing those signs and checking them out, you can do a free trial for a month for only $3.99 and there is loads of content on there. I do a weekly show, I do a monthly show that's called Soul Support Group that I team up with other astrologers. I also host some solo or co-host with one or two others. It, we change the topic. It's another way to find your tribe. If you have any interest in learning about astrology and this amazing step system, please do that. But the reason I'm throwing that in there, and you can do that at seriousjoy.com, by the way, um, is because they keep telling us to be the master of our master plan. And that means that we have to stick to the plan. We have to make the time to keep going and find the courage to really believe in yourself for what's coming even though we're ready to be out there shining on the stage right now whether that's shining in your home life and finally feeling settled shining in your relationships and finally feeling like you've come to that sweet spot in your personal relationships romantic ones close friends or whether it's just wanting to finally make that next move with your career. They want us to have that perseverance here. This is really important that we have this here, that we've got a plan because what's coming up for us, especially towards the end of October, early November, and I do do with my online coffee messages, I do kind of an update. So this is meant to kind of cover the whole month of October, but then we'll get a little update from them at the online coffee. So stay tuned for that as well. But they're saying that coming up towards the end of October, and for November, we're gonna have to tap into our magic. We're gonna have to know and trust that we are ready for these big things that are coming and that we already have the resources or we have the ability to manifest the resources that we need. So we need to take a magical approach. Now this is when the holiday season starts to come in for a lot of us and there is magic in the air. So even if you don't celebrate some of these Holidays, find ways to do things that feel magical to you because that's what we're attracting right now. And they want us to know that we can start right now calling in that magic of being able to manifest the result we want or to manifest the resources we need to get there. But it does take this plan. It does take having this structure and just keep going, keep putting one foot in front of the other because where you're really gonna get your personal power for this month, where you're gonna really tap in is to trust that good news is on the way. Go into your solar plexus and feel it. Tap into your intuition and ask. You will get an answer. I like to look for yes and no signs when I'm really trying to make a decision about where we're going. Like they said at the beginning of this video, they're talking about us needing to make a decision, needing to address something that we've wanted to turn a blind eye to, but trust that it will all work out. We will get the recognition and the rewards that we're seeking from the things that we want if we really focus on keeping our eye on the prize essentially is what they're telling us to do so tap into that solar plexus a lot use your affirmations that's where your power is going to come now they're asking you to notice those around you okay and i love it when they do this they love to talk about those around you to kind of either give us heads up or to just know we're being supported and we may not really realize it they want you to notice who are the people around you that are loyal, 
They're honorable, they're kind, and they're dedicated to your relationship. They're also dedicated to the things that you're dedicated to. You, you share those in. Maybe you both are on the same spiritual mission here on earth. I can tell you if you're here watching this right now, you are a light worker, you are activated, you are here to do this work and you are intuitive. So whatever your spiritual gift is, it's time to buckle down and get things done. So look around at those around you who are also buckling down. They are on their mission. Even if they're not exactly sure how they're using their spiritual gifts, they're honoring them by practicing them with themselves every day. So they're asking you to look around for that, you know, finding your tribe, connecting with your tribe, like we talk about. That's why we do the online coffee. And you want to pick the people that are, are honoring this commitment here because that's going to help raise the vibration for you. They also want to let you know that your guardian angels are working very closely with you on this as well. So notice when you feel them, okay, the little angel bumps we get, the little hair raises on our arms when we have a good idea and then all the hair on our arms sticks up or we get the little chills because that's our guardian angels stepping in. They're so close and they're saying, yes, yes, keep going with that idea. Okay, and then also notice those who are around you who are just, they bring a warmth and an intelligence to the work you're doing and they're not underestimating themselves because we can't underestimate ourselves either. These are the people that are independent and creative. So they're asking you to look for those people and then go into your solar plexus and check, you know, am I meant to be working with these people or having these people in our lives? Cause that's going to be really helpful, especially as we go through this month, we might have to face some things that seem a little scary. It's nothing that we need to focus on at all, but it could just be a situation where things haven't turned out the way we hoped. We've gotten this message in the past and I would wager to say that a lot of us feel like 2022 has not turned out the way we were hoping back in 2021 when we were looking ahead and we are being asked, reminded again to not cry over spilled milk, things that we cannot change. We don't need to sit there and focus on those things. We need to make the decision to move on. And this is the song I hear. I like to share when I get messages. If you follow, I used to love when I was younger, I grew up, I grew up here in Texas. So we have a lot of country music around. Pam Tillis, the country music singer, had that song, No Use Crying Over Spilled Perfume. So actually I heard that song playing in my head when I was getting this guidance to share with you because they were talking about that. You know, if you, if a bottle of perfume gets spilled and you sit in the room with it too long, you can kind of get sick to your stomach from sitting in that fragrance. It started off really sweet and then it started to make you kind of sick. So there's no use being in that room with that. Clean it up, get out of there, let the room air out. And that's why they're talking about those decisions again. Where do we need to air out things in our lives and allow for this new energy coming in that they were talking about where we have to really keep our eye on the prize and focus on that and attract that because ultimately the result of us not paying attention to what's coming, if we, if we do focus on the spilled milk, we're gonna end up feeling overworked. So they're asking us to be willing to accept help from others and to notice where our life might be a little out of balance. We wanna be careful to avoid stress-related health concerns. So taking lots of time for yourself through this month, that's gonna be this intense energy. If you follow astrology, especially once we move into Scorpio, it gets even more intense. But you know, most of October we're in Libra, which is about relationships. So that's where they're asking us to look to where we need to make decisions with that and then things can get pretty tense at the end of the month and as we move into November. So set aside time to relax and um, do meditation, do self-care. Also set aside time for fun, okay? We do need to make sure we're not being too frivolous with our money, but we also don't wanna be too cautious where we're not taking time for ourselves. So focus on making good business decisions, focus on bringing joy and love into your heart we're coming into the season of giving. So if that brings you joy, that could be a great way to do this. And ultimately, we're just gonna be called upon to have a lot of strength this month. That's gonna be the overall energy that we're gonna feel is just endurance, you know, keeping our eye on the prize, steady progress, and being careful not to get too focused on the negative. So tap into that great inner strength that you have in there. Release harsh judgments for yourself about where maybe in the past you waited too long to make a decision, you waited too long to start a project, you waited too long to ask that person out on a date, you waited too long to join your tribe. 
release those harsh judgments. Come join us at Online Coffee with Devin and we have so much forgiveness and compassion in that group. We're all working on ourselves together and it's really, really fun. I'd like to wrap up this video with intentions. I like to say that we don't have to wait for this energy. We can start right now getting in alignment with it, activating this guidance. So here are the three intentions that you need to carry with you through this month. The first one is focus on having peace and harmony in your life. So you're not overstressed, you're not overworked. If you resonate with having a spirit animal or there's an animal that always makes you feel a certain way, tap into the energy of that. What animal always catches your attention when you see it on the TV, you see it in a piece of artwork, tap into that energy. And then finally, we're focusing on this spiritual abundance. So the three things to think about and focus on to get through the energy of this month is one, peace and harmony, two, your spirit animal or whatever animal resonates with you, and three, spiritual abundance. It's coming for us, you guys. Let's all stick together as a tribe. That wraps up the angel messages for this video. Before I go, if you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel, like and share the messages and comment below what resonated with you. It really helps my channel grow. I love hearing from you and connecting you with this way. And let me know if you have any questions. I love answering your questions. If you can't make it to the online coffees during the session, you can message me with your questions and I'll try to get to them. If you wanna to go to listen to last month's coffee, it's here on YouTube. I'll also link it below here in the comments because then you can see what it's like. Maybe it'll help you come up with some questions. You don't have to be on camera to uh, participate. You can just listen in. You're more than welcome. A lot of people just come with their video off and their mute button on for a while and listen to the conversation. And then you can always go back and listen to the recording. So I'd love to, to hear from you. And don't forget about the free five-day challenge and also my giveaway uh, on Instagram at devondoer.com. I'm also on TikTok and Facebook. I love hearing from you and connecting with you. Just make sure you're signed up for my free newsletter at devondoer.com. And until next time, make sure you're taking care and taking time to connect with the angels every day. It really will help you build your trust and your connection. I'm so grateful you're here. Thank you so much. Have an amazing blessed month and I'll see you next time. Bye.